Wait, that KOs? What? What's going on, YouTube? So uh, today we're going to show you guys how to build a team around Calyrex. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, Series 8 just kicked off, um, and that should actually be very interesting because it allows you to use one restricted Pokemon, which we're going to be building a team around Shadow Rider Calyrex here. Uh, Pokemon's really strong, and um, without further ado, let's jump right in. As always, guys, if you could help me out with a like, uh, if you're into competitive Pokemon, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, I am going to be making guides for all the restricted Pokemon that are allowed, so uh, we're just getting started with Calyrex. I thought I'd start with Calyrex since it's probably the most polarizing Pokemon. Uh, it's really strong. It demands a lot of attention, so here we are. We're making a guide about him. So um calyrex uh, shadow rider um let's take a look at his stats uh so calyrex shadow rider is a pokemon that has probably the highest speed of all the restricted pokemon uh coming in at 150 uh to top it off it gets 165 special attack which is actually really strong and uh coupled with its ability as one which combines uh spectre's grim Nay and the uh ability for calyrex himself a nerve um basically your opponent can't use berries um so they can't use stuff like uh uh berry um the super effective reducing berries right like chopple berries etc um <clears throat> it also gets a special attack boost every single time that it knocks out a pokemon so it's a pokemon that once it gets going it just snowballs and takes over games so um yeah uh the move pool is actually pretty decent um uh, it gets coverage with Ghost and Psychic, which hit a lot of stuff, and um, Astral Barrage and Extending Force are probably the two best moves to use on Calyrex, and that's just because they are powerful spread moves that can, you know, pick up knockouts on uh, opposing Focus Ash users or stuff like uh, Regieleki, right? So, um, it does get some really cool support moves like Ally Switch, um, it gets Pollen Puff, um, but we're not really going to be focusing on that. All right, guys, so now we're going to go ahead and talk about the team. Um, and basically, here is the rental code if you guys are interested in checking it out. Uh, so basically, you know, Calyrex is going to be running Nasty Plot, Astral Barrage, Expanding Force, and Protect. And basically, these two spread moves in Ghost and Psychic allow it to pick up knockouts and take advantage of its ability um, as one, which is basically Grimne and a Nerve. Uh, and DD is there to support Calyrex uh, by, you know, follow me or helping hand and also setting up the psychic terrain, which is also very important because it stops priority moves, namely Sucker Punch from Urshifu and Bisharp. Um, those Pokemon are really good into Calyrex, so um, having ways to deal with those Pokemon is actually very important. And so, uh, Indeedy does a fantastic job of redirecting dark moves away from Calyrex. And um, also, it helps with Expanding Force. Um, it just does some amazing chip damage. Um, expanding Force, powered up by the Psychic Terrain, just does so much damage, even with little to no investment on Ndidi. So, Ndidi is going to be a sassy nature with a negative uh, speed stat, right? So, that way it can actually... If it speed ties with Rillaboom, it will actually win that speed tie and, or actually lose the speed tie, should I say. You want to lose the speed tie because the faster Pokemon will activate their terrain and then the slower Pokemon overwrites it with their own terrain. So, um, for that reason, Ndidi is a negative speed and um, will basically be setting up that psychic terrain for us. Um, additionally, Ndidi is max special defense because it will be helping it deal with Kyogre Water Spouts, right? Um, gotta watch out for those Water Spouts from Kyogre. It's a powerful Pokemon in this format. Um, it's definitely one of the stronger Pokemon to look out for in this format. So, um, to deal with opposing Kyogres, we have Regieleki. And Regieleki does a fantastic job of providing additional speed control along with Crobat, which we'll talk about in a minute. <clears throat> but it also actually helps it uh, deal with Galarian Moltres a lot, too. So by setting up a light screen and then, uh, you know, speed control with Electro Web or Volt Switch or even Dynamaxing into the uh, Galarian Moltres and just maximizing your damage output versus it um, is a fantastic option that you have. Uh, Transistor just boosts uh, Regieleki's um, electric moves, right? So... Uh, without little to no investment, you're still packing a punch. So, light screen reflect really strong. It's holding a light clay to extend those screens, 
And uh, next, we got Urshifu. So Urshifu is a Pokemon that I added on here because it helps it deal with opposing Urshifus. Um, it, it just helps Calyrex with those Pokemon, right? Because Calyrex does not like going into Bisharp, does not like going into Tyranitar, does not like going into other Urshifus, which basically Urshifu does a fantastic job into all of. Uh, so Urshifu uh, Dark is probably one of the best Pokemon that has come out as of recently. Um, I just think that, uh, you know, Calyrex and uh, Shadow Rider form and Urshifu are probably the best Pokemon. That's just my opinion, though. But uh, Urshifu is going to be really strong this this format um, because of Calyrex is going to do great into it. Um, and Urshifu kind of does well into itself, if that makes sense. So um, very standard moveset, by the way. Uh, Jolly, max attack, max speed. Uh, detect, Sucker Punch, Wicked Blow, Close Combat. Those are all very standard moves on Urshifu if you've been playing him. Uh, next is Crobat, and Crobat is a Pokemon I'm really excited to have on the team, and I'm really excited to see how it does in the Restricted Format. Uh, Crobat is a Pokemon that has done really well in Restricted Formats in the past, into, namely, Xerneas. Uh, Xerneas was a very, uh, like Calyrex, very polarizing uh, Pokemon, right? It demands a lot of attention, so uh, Crobat is here to give Xerneas attention <laughs> by taunting it. It can taunt it, it's faster than Xerneas. Uh, I can set up Tailwind so that you can continue to outspeed Xerneas. Um, and then Calyrex can just threaten so much damage on it, honestly. So, um, Additionally, Crobat helps into Venusaur Torkoal teams. Um, and it also helps into Amoongus teams, right? So um, it's really good into, let's say, Trick Room Setter plus Amoongus because you can taunt. Um, it's also really good into Venusaur Torkoal because... Well, you can taunt Venusaur, and then with the safety goggles, you don't go to sleep. So you can actually protect your Calyrex, and then uh, Crobat can taunt Venusaur. Uh, therefore, you guarantee your Pokemon stay awake. If Crobat does get knocked out by, let's say, an eruption from Torkoal, then basically you're getting a free switch into Regieleki to start doing some damage, setting up your screens. Uh, you get a switch into Landorus to maybe intimidate something, or you get a switch into Ndidi to set up your psychic terrain, and then further boost your damage by expanding force psychic terrain life orb and if you have any special attack boosts already uh calyrex is just going to be tearing through opposing teams so i really think calyrex i'm just really excited to play it and uh last but not least we got landris on the team right good old faithful reliable landris uh landris uh very standard moveset fly u-turn rock slide and earthquake u-turn for repositioning and intimidating stuff so for example into something like Zacian, you can lead Regieleki, and you can lead Landorus, and then Landorus can basically U-turn, and by the way, with Electro Web, you outspeed Zacian, U-turn or Earthquake for the knockout, um, though, however, you have Regieleki, so probably not Earthquake, maybe Max Move, right? You can Max Quake into it, fly, um, but you can also U-turn, switch out, um, and then you switch Landorus back in, and then you get another attack drop. So at that point, you have minus two, minus one speed, and then all of a sudden, Zacian is not very threatening, right? So, uh, yeah, I think Landorus rounds out the team really well, helps with opposing Steel Pokemon. Uh, it helps with physical attackers like Urshifu. It helps with physical attackers like uh, Tyranitar, right? Tyranitar is also a big one that I think is going to be making a big resurgence. Um, Tyranitar Eveltal teams, I think, will be really cool to test out with uh, Sandstorm, like uh, Excadrill, right? Sandrush, uh, really excited. I really like Tyranitar Excadrill team. So um, anyways, guys, that is the video for today. Here is the rental code. Check it out. I will be leaving uh, a link in the description below for the um, Pokemon Showdown paste if you want to test out the team in there. Um, but I'd say just jump in. Uh, it's February already and start, you know, testing out Calyrex. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, feel free to come back to the video. Let me know how you did with it or if you have any suggestions or improvements, you know. Um, I'm hoping that you guys do really good with it. But uh, also let me know in the comment section below what uh, Pokemon do you want me to make a guide on next? I know uh, I have some ideas for a Generation 5 Legendary Pokemon. So let me know if you have a guess as to which Pokemon I might be talking about. But I'm very excited for it. Um, I thought of it just this morning. So um, if you guys have any suggestions on Pokemon you want to see, like Kyogre, Groudon, Zacian, Zamazenta maybe... Uh, let me know below, but thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I will catch you guys on the next one. For now, I'm out. Peace.